Hello and welcome. So uh, I've got a new hammock and I uh, thought I'd share it with you. This is the East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer hammock. And it says it is an all-in-one hammock tent system. So this supposedly has everything you could possibly want to uh, set up a hammock and camp under it. With the exception of the uh, under blanket which you would need for cold weather. Um, but according to this it has the hammock, it has the straps, it has the bug net, it has the rain fly, it has the tent stakes and it has the cordage you would need. All in one handy package and uh, it costs £69 at the moment so it's a budget option compared with some but is it any good? That's the question. I've got an East Hills Outdoors hammock, I've got the uh, Skyloft one which is a little bit less than this and that's actually pretty good so I'm hopeful that this is all right. Let's get everything out of this pack and we'll put it out on the ground we'll see what you get and these are supposed to be easy to put up. Now I've not got this out of the packaging this is my first time putting it up so this is just a look at what you get look at what's in there let's see how easy it is to pitch and see how comfy it is and then we'll make some kind of judgment as to uh, whether it does what it says on the tin. So we have the hammock itself, including the bug net and the rain fly. And that, that is very small. That's quite impressive. Whether it gives good coverage is another thing, but it's small and packable. Some vague instructions there, which we will refer to if we need to. So what's in the hammock bag? Got a pair of tree straps, got some cordage of some kind. And I think this is integral, this bag, yeah. So the bag stays on there. So that's already a plus because a good bit of storage. Got some carabiners on there, the bug net's built in. I know I'm throwing this on the floor, but we're just looking at it. So we might as well see if we can get it up in the tree. So these are 10 foot suspension straps. And uh, if they're anything like my other one, which they are, you've got the loops where the carabiner goes, but you've got lots of them running up. Oh, just over halfway up the strap. So multiple loops for you know ease of hanging. Uh, I'm going to go between these two big trees. So just pass that through there. That should bite down of its own accord. And then that's ready for hanging. Gonna hang that halfway and see where we're at once it's up. And obviously, you know, this carabiner on this big chunk of rope here, you know, you can undo that and that's adjustable. But this may be fine as it is. So these trees are quite close together. Fire this one up a little bit. Okay, so the bug net is integral, but it does unzip all the way and come off. And the zips feel okay. Some hammocks have spreader bars, but this hammock has a little loop here and another one here. And the idea of those is they go up around the tree using this kind of stretchy cordage that's provided so we're going to have to tie that on ourselves and I guess we'll have to do it each time I don't quite know whether you can leave it attached probably not because I think it would just get into a tangled mess but I'm hoping that this is one single piece 
because it'll wrap around the tree through all of these sort of spreader tabs, should we call them, and that should lift it up, uh, that lift up the bug net away from your face. And because this is elasticated cordage, will have a bit of give for when you you know get in the hammock. So you can do these up, you know, reasonably tight, and then when you lay down, it's not going to, you know, put undue pressure on this cordage. So there is two of these, not one. So let's start with this one, one side at a time, by the looks of it. We've got three tabs along the hammock, so that's pretty good. Give us lots of tension. I think what I'm going to do is attach all three, both sides, and then take them around the tree and join them together. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. I guess we'll find out as we go. But that to me sort of makes sense, that that will then lift the bug net right up out your way. And there's plenty of this cord to enable that to happen. I mean, you could attach them to the tree straps, but I think you'll get a better sort of lift if you have them further away and higher up, personally. I'm just going to bring them around where my tree straps are. And at this end, literally just going to tie a loop to join them together. And that should be strong enough for the purpose. Take the other end, bring it round and do the same thing. And yeah, as I say, you know, there's ample of this elasticated cord. It's got a fair amount of stretch in it. So I'll do the same here, just tie a knot to join them together, leave it hung there, and see how that looks from the other side. Doesn't look too bad at all. Let's put a little sit down in here. Actually, quite a lot of room in here to be fair and that suspension system does lift it right up off your face now this is built as a as a double hammock as a lot of these are and um, you know I'm not sure I'd ever want a hammock with another person I think it'd be a bit squishy but for one there is tons of room in here it's a very wide I think it's two meters wide by three meters long so it's a huge, great space. I mean, that lifts right out there. My other one had points that you could peg that out, but I always found they got in the way, uh, especially when you put an um, under blanket on, it's, it made it awkward. So I don't mind that there isn't, but yeah, this is cool. I like it. And you've got hanging hooks up in the corner. You've got one there and one there, and then you've got the same the other end. You got a you got a mobile phone pouch, and again got another one at this end. So overall, it's quite impressive. I mean, it, the bug net zips both sides, so you can get out either side. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think there is a lot of room in here, and I'm I'm sort of diagonal. And I've almost got a flat lay, but there's no issues with the bug net. You know, I've got all this space above me. Plenty of room at the foot end. Plenty of room at the head end. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I'm impressed to be fair. I think it's pretty good. And it was easy to set up. 
the um, the Skyloft one I had, it was a little bit fiddly. There was a central uh, one of these sort of stretchy ridge lines, and I struggled to get it taut because it was internal and it was integral. I quite like the fact that this is a separate thing, and you just whiz it round the tree. I think that's good. It's functional. Um, yeah. How long did it take me to put it up? All of five minutes. I mean, you can fettle with heights and levels and you know tension and stuff, but to just throw it up in five minutes is okay. Uh, let's get the tarp out then, and we'll see how easy that is. All right, so this is the rain fly. We've got pegs and cordage in there. From all the pictures I've seen, I think this is meant to be pitched on a diamond. So we'll do that. It's some white material, it's kind of greyish there and a bit shiny on the inside, so you, you kind of know which is, which is the inside, which is the outside, I guess. So you've got one, two, three tabs. Yeah, three tabs on each side. So you've got tyre options, you can put it as a square or you can put it as a diamond. So what do we get in here? We've got four pegs and these are not the best quality pegs. They're very, very thin and obviously quite fragile. You've got a big hank of cordage. It's got reflective stuff sewn into it which is good or bad, I suppose, I don't really know. But, uh, let's see how far it all goes. Two, three, four, five, six pieces of cordage. And they've all got the kind of plastic, uh, like, guy line attachments on them. So, you know, ease of, ease of pitching, that's a good thing. Because you just tie it on, get it to your desired length, peg it out, no messing about with, you know, Taut line hitch knots and what have you. And once these are tied onto your tarp, you know, they're on there then, they'll stay on there. So all you need to do once you've done this once is just throw the tarp up and be done with it. It's not coming off. That's that corner. Put it, I was trying to put it on a diamond to make sure it covered the whole hammock but I don't think there's any need to because on a diamond it's longer than the distance between my trees so I think I need to put it in a square. So I've been experimenting with the tarp and uh, I wanted to go on a diamond because that's what all the pictures have it as but the distance between my trees is too short for that and Tying knots with this particular cordage is a little troublesome because this is quite a slippery cordage. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put this tarp in a square and where you've got this kind of uh, guy line loop is I'm going to put this through the, um, through the loop on the tarp and then I'm going to pass it through, you see what I'm doing there? I'll make a little loop there and then I'm just going to pass this through and then hopefully that will just pull tight and I can just tie it off like that with a with a bow possibly for ease of undoing so we'll try that and see how that works out I don't really want you know to do one end too tight because I may have to then adjust it so putting a tarp up is the trickiest part of this hammock but you know, these things are simpler if you just do a ridge line, lay your tarp over and peg it down. But uh, we haven't got that option because all I brought was the stuff that they give you. So we're, we're using what we get. Put this round the tree, fire it up a bit, pass that through there. 
and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wrap it over that for a minute just to leave it loose while I get the other end on. should be job done. And I've left that one as a bow, so I've just pulled it, but I've not pulled it all the way through, and that should be locked off. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. All right, it's gonna undo this and show you it again. So, so right from the beginning. So you've got this guy line tab. Just pull a bit out and make a loop. Your string is either side of the tree. Pass it through the loop. Lift it up to the height you want it. And I'm just gonna pull this tight and watch my tarp kind of go up till it's tight. Just keep adjusting till you've got a nice tight tarp. Right, so then hold that in your left hand, tuck that under the bit that's going around the tree, pull that through, but don't let it come all the way through, and then just grip it like that and you've got a bow and a nice quick release. So the guidelines they give you when you tie them on at one end without doing anything at this end this part doesn't function because it just constantly slips so I think what you're supposed to do or at least what I've done is just thread the running end through the extra hole that's there and then tie it on because then you get the uh, the tension you need when you've adjusted this to where you want it. Makes sense? And that's it. It's up. So that's the East Hills Jungle Explorer hammock. And uh, now I understand the tarp a little bit. Um, it'll be simpler next time. As I said earlier, you know, using a standard ridge line or some bungees is the easy way to do things. That, it's a little tricky just because it's different, I think. Um, but, you know, it's functional, it works okay. So, um, yeah, I think it's just something I'll get used to. But as a thing, it's not that bad. I'll uh, give you a few specs, shall I? We all like a spec. So the tree straps are what they call daisy chain tree straps. And the lightweight aluminium carabiners are what clip to it. Bug net is 2,500 holes per square inch. The zippers on the hammock are SBS zippers. The stuff sack that it comes in is attached. And then also inside you've got two phone holders and you've also got four internal hanging loops for just hanging stuff, bags or lights or whatever. Tarp is 2000 millimeter waterproof uh, and it has reinforced corners where the uh, guy lines are. The hammock itself, as I said, is three meters by two meters. The mosquito net is removable and the rain flies nine foot by nine foot apparently. So the hammock always breathable, high tensile, it's taffeta parachute. It's been triple stitched on the edges and it can hold a maximum of 700 pounds. And the overall package is 1.8 kilos. So it's not too bad at all. And overall, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty impressed. The hammock itself is super easy to put up. The tarp requires a little bit of fiddling, but once you've done it once, I think you'd be fine. It's quite impressive really. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video of this hammock if you want to have a look for yourself 
check it out. I mean, prices go up and down, but at the time of recording, this was, I think, 69.99. So to get all of this for 70 quid, effectively, it's, it's an absolute bargain. And if you're new to hammocking, you know, I think this is a possible road to go down, you know, because there are more expensive hammocks out there. You know, there's popular brands that, uh, that everybody uses, but they're not always the comfiest. I've got a friend of mine who's selling his uh, expensive hammock because he prefers a cheaper one that he's got. So, you know, if you're not sure about hammocking and you want to give it a try, these kinds of hammocks, they're a good place to start because everything is in the bag. Uh, and at 1.8 kilos for an entire hammocking kit, bar the under blanket, um, that's pretty good. So, yep. I think I'm going to call it there. I'm going to have an afternoon swinging in the woods. And uh, I'm going camping soon and I'll take this with me on a hammock camp that I've got coming up. So, um, yes, you will see this hammock again because... I am mighty impressed with it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if it has, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And um, yeah, check the description if you want to have a look for yourself. There'll be a link in there. But uh, yeah, happy hammocking. I'll uh, see you again soon. Bye for now. After laying in it for a while, it's pretty comfy. I'm gonna have a little doze, I think. See you later. <laughs>